Hello and welcome to day three of the 10 day Breathe Better course. If this is your first day here, I recommend strongly that you go back, start on day one, do day two, and then come to this video. I hope you've been breathing through your nose and checking your bolt score, writing it all down in your notebook. Today, we're going to work with a very moderate amount of stress in the body, in the breathing, to promote improvement and adaptation. Always breathing through the nose. All we're going to do today is a few short holds. By that I mean five second holds. So it's shorter than what you will have done with your bolt score in the first video and hopefully yesterday and this morning as well. If you have a bolt score of 10 or below, the time you're looking for with these holds will be half of that bolt score. Otherwise, we're just holding for five seconds. The process is very simple. Sitting down makes it nice and easy, but you can stand up if you would like to. Nice long spine, comfortable, not stressed in any way, breathing in and out of the nose. I'd recommend you do this for two to three minutes just to get a nice comfortable rhythm for yourself and then breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, pinch the nose and hold the nose and count to five. Then back to normal breathing and breathe two or three times for a period of what will be around about 10 to 15 seconds, and then repeat. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, pinch and hold the nose, and count to five. And I would ask that you do this for five minutes. Now what this does is it helps open up the airways. It also starts to build up a little bit of carbon dioxide in your body because you've breathed out. Then you're not breathing again and there's no way for the carbon dioxide to get out of your body. There's no way for it to go. So it builds up a little bit. You start to increase your tolerance and reduce your sensitivity to carbon dioxide, which means you can learn how to breathe more efficiently and effectively. It's a very simple exercise. It's very potent. Often my clients, even doing that five second hold, the first two or three rounds, especially the first time they do it, can feel a little bit like, oh, that's a lot of work. It's a bit of a stress. Be mindful. You are safe, but only go as far as you need to go today. These are not meant to be stress-inducing exercises. This is just a little bit of stress so you can start to adapt. Now, we use this exercise as a breath recovery exercise for people who are starting to feel the first onset of symptoms of asthma or an asthma attack. Not once it's already taken over. At that point, you probably need medication and maybe medical intervention, but we can use this particular exercise to reduce or even prevent the onset, onset of all of those symptoms if we catch it early enough. So it's a very important exercise. I would ask that you do it maybe throughout the day a couple of times, two to three times a day. It'll only take you five minutes each time. Record what you're feeling, what you realized, anything that's important to you in that notebook. And again, bolt score tomorrow morning. This exercise is safe for everyone. Please be mindful of your own situation. Again, hypertension, heart issues, anxiety, panic disorder. Be very, very mindful. Even though this is only a teaspoon of breath holding, it may be too much for you. So go very slowly. Always check with your doctor if you're unsure. Please be safe. Enjoy the exercise. Message me if you have any questions. I'll see you tomorrow. If you are enjoying this series, this video, please follow me on socials and perhaps, perhaps share with a friend. Thank you.